congratulations on the film. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. When you got this script for the first, I watched it last night and so much happens and it spirals and it contorts and it just goes in so many crazy places. Tell me about the experience of reading the script for the first time because it's, it's it can, I imagine it was a bit of an experience. Yeah, I mean, you read and sometimes you read, you know, we read lots of scripts and like they're kind of okay and then you read this script and it's like, wow, where's this bad boy going? And it was, you know, it made me, well, it made me laugh. Um, and there was a real strong story there at its heart about the sisters. And that's always been there, I think, from like, Olivier um, has been de developing it for years. So I think it was th the fact that it made me laugh and it kept me gripped. And that's, yeah. that's what you want in a script. And that generally translates. And also someone who's just confident to just play with, you know, form, play with genre, style, and just bring comedy throughout. Like, it's very hard, actually, when you kind of, there's obviously something important behind what Nida's doing as a filmmaker and what, why it is she wants to tell stories. But to be able to make people laugh along the way, that, that's like a very kind of powerful combination. It's quite rare to come across. It's someone who's like uniquely distinct without it being contrived in any way, you know? And when you read it, you just know it. And immediately we needed to dive in. Yeah, and I mean, we've had a, over the last sort of 10 years, 12 years, we've had a monopoly of these big superhero movies and big movie, big blockbusters, everything else. But recently there seems to have been a push again for audiences who want something original, something that's a bit fresh, something that's a little bit different. How important is it to keep that going? Because obviously, you know, the big movies make, make big money, but originality seems to be so important. Well, I, I feel quite strongly about this because all those big movies, all the directors on those big movies started somewhere and, that, and they've all got like a voice and something to say. And all those superhero voices, they're all slightly different depending on who the director is. And I think you need that authorship, otherwise you're making films by numbers. And so having somebody that's got a passion and a story to tell, no matter what genre, is, is a good thing, I think. Yeah. In the end, originality is what gets people excited and gets, you know, we've seen it with this film. Just immediately people see, oh, I haven't seen something like that before. And that just counts for so much. And we just need as much of that as possible. It requires people to take a leap of faith, both in financing it and making it. And we're lucky that that's happened. And now hopefully audiences can enjoy that. Oh, they are. I enjoyed it. It's, it's, it's <laughs> immeshurable fun. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I wish you all the best. You. Have a good thank evening. You thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.